This is called Red Flags. There's a form of colour blindness where you can't tell red from green. I have a rarer, metaphoric form where warnings can't be seen. In the throes of a romance, I can't interpret what they mean, for I have a blind spot for red flags. He'll say things that should cause alarm. I'll run at them full pelt. Pals may raise their eyebrows, but I cannot be tell. The gut feelings that others heed, for me, they only felt. For I have a blind spot for red flags. For example, at the pictures, when we see a Star Wars prequel, he is furious to note it looks more modern than the sequel. <laughs> When I explain, he shouts me down. My beamer has no equal. But I do have that blind spot for red flags. He crawls back and explains that he was having a bad day, some illness in his family and a mix up with his pay. And I feel sad for him that this cruel world has treated him that way. I truly have a blind spot for red flags. Gradually, I realise he's moved into my flat. <laughs> he looked after me when Gran died and he never went home after that. <laughs> he sells it as a kindness, so if I object, I'll be a twat. <laughs> Maybe I could have questioned that red flag. Now, he insists that he loves me. I'm the apple of his eye. If I lost weight, I'd be quite pretty. And if I loved him, I would try. <laughs> then he could pledge his lasting love till all the seas gang dry. And the rabbi coat disarms me, so I let that red flag go by. Now, we party because we're youngsters, and he can fear turn on the charm. And in public, he's attentive. He's proud to have me on his arm. Sometimes in private, he's a meanie, but it's rare. So where's the harm? An odd bad day is surely not a red flag. We both know something's not right. So to fix it, we get wed. A commitment I am sure will fix his insecure, sad head. We're now free to make a fresh start but he quits his job instead. And I fear, dearly beloved, seeing this red flag. So I need to pay the mortgage, so I work and work some more, and we see each other less, so it gets worse than before. He gambles through the joint account, then he punches through a door. And fear now makes me conceal those red flags. His tempers are spectacular. They bring me to my knees. Like the time I use his Wensleydale, I should know that that's his cheese. <laughs> he throws it in a puddle and he cannot be appeased. And I feel too ashamed to name the red flags. I stay away more often. And my career begins to fly and I'm surprised to find that there are folk that I'm admired by. He's jealous. He gets physical, and I'm now so numb, I cannot cry. Do I deserve this for triggering those red flags? Now, I wonder who that girl was, and why she thought that she deserved to live in fear of violence, and it was a normal way to be. I'm glad that she escaped, and she is loving being free. me, all she can see is red flags. <laughs>